Dawkins and many other uh, atheists, uh, one of the first examples they claim of bad design is the recurrent laryngeal nerve. So the, the larynx is shown in blue, and there's one nerve that goes straight from the brain to the larynx, that's shown in red. But in purple, you can see a, a nerve that loops down and comes back up to the larynx. Now Dawkins looks at that looping nerve, the recurrent laryngeal nerve, and he draws a very quick conclusion and says, oh, uh, that doesn't quite look right to me, so I think that's a bad design. But again, he's making the mistake uh, that the design works perfectly well, so you can't just say something's bad if it works well. Again, he's not thinking the nervous system is the most incredible design. You have to be very cautious about criticising it. And he doesn't understand how the wiring system works either. Uh, this subject is very close to my heart, literally, because it goes down there. But uh, I had to design loops uh, on my spacecraft and the loops I designed were almost identical in size to the human laryngeal uh, nerve. In fact, if Richard Dawkins had come to my first design lecture, he would hear me say that wiring systems normally have loops. It's exactly what you'd expect in a wiring system, but he's never wired anything, so he doesn't understand that. But his books have these catastrophic errors of saying loops are bad when actually loops are good. One of the reasons it's good to have loops in wiring systems is that, uh, well, it gives freedom of movement. If you have moving joints, things don't tighten up too much, but uh, there are other reasons as well. On my spacecraft, uh, I can, if you have good eyesight, you can see a little blue and red wire on halfway around the loop on my spacecraft, and it's an intermediate connection. I have a little wire for a temperature sensor and a proximity sensor. And interestingly, on our laryngeal, uh, recurrent laryngeal nerve, we also have two intermediate connections, one to the esophagus, one to the trachea. Uh, remarkably similar to my system on a spacecraft. And those tiny nerves can't go on their own. They need to piggyback uh, another nervous uh, nerve cells. And that's exactly what happens in the human laryngeal nerve. But then there's even a third reason for having a loop. And that is when you're assembling the system in the first place. For my technicians to assemble my wiring system, you have to have slack and loops. In the case of a human being, when a baby grows in the womb, organs are moving apart and you have to have a degree of slack in the wiring uh, system. So seeing a loop in the wiring system is exactly what you would expect if God had designed it. And yet Richard Dawkins writes in his books that this isn't what you'd expect from a, a designer, but he doesn't actually know how design works himself.